Edith never felt well in Holland. Edith was German, and she missed Germany. She couldn't, she didn't learn uh, Dutch very well. She did not feel at home in Amsterdam. And of course, when she had to go into a hiding, this, this negative feeling just took hold of her and gave her even more problems. My God was a highly intelligent girl. I mean, Anna was intelligent too, but Margot was always first in school. She was brilliant, and she was studying. Her life, actually, uh, was studying, learning, reading, much more than Anna. And she was, uh, she was, Anna looked up to her, but that was a little bit of a problem, of course, between the two girls. The always, always good learning Margot and this, this lively uh, child, Anne, who had other ideas too, who loved to, uh, to flirt with boys in school already. The girls were different. And Margot was leaning to Edith, mother, and Anne was Otto's child. So there was a bit of a difference between the two girls. There was great love. They loved each other, of course, but they were different. Edith's and Anna's characters were completely different. Edith was a, a wonderful mother, but she was very quiet, very reserved, and Anna was a little, a little explosion. Of course, that was already in freedom uh, a bit of a difference. And be, in lock, locked up, in a, in an, in, in, without any possibility to get out, of course, this became more and more. And uh, so the difference between those two characters became so strong that, uh, that the, the, uh, uh, the living together with these two became very difficult. I mean, every, Anne wanted to, to get out, Anne wanted to be free, Anne wanted to go to school, the girls. And Edith was very quiet, always very, Anna, don't do this, Anna, don't do that, you know? She meant well, she meant well, but, but it was just not in Anna's line or character. So that's where the, the problems came up.